Hello? I want to start with a little question. Who tests their CSS? Okay, and another question, well, you probably don't know what Gemini is. So there are two ways to test your CSS. You take your target element and you can check either that all the proper rules are applied or you can check that it's rendered correctly. So we're gonna be talking about later. And this is how it looks like. You have your expected image, what you've actually rendered, and a diff. Diff has pink stuff, pink stuff is a failure. If you see pink stuff, there's a difference. In this case, border radius has changed. And this is a point I wanna make. This point, this is a one pixel difference and this is supposed to fail your test and this is how precise we can get with testing CSS. But this is no big deal because we've been able to test CSS for four years with Phantom CSS and like, what am I talking about? So I'm talking about this. This is a difference in rendering between a Windows and a Linux machines and if you see the pink outline, pink stuff is a failure, it's a difference in anti-aliasing and I bet you can get it to render perfectly on both operating systems and there are different other environment concerns. So if you're gonna have difference like this, you should find a way to fight this. And the solution to this is very simple. You just run your test in the same environment, but think about the way you write unit tests. I hope everybody writes unit tests, right? Please raise your hands. Uh, when you write your test, you first write your test, you write your code, you run your test, and then you commit. So by the time you run your tests, you only have your code on your machine, but you cannot have the environment to run CSS tests on your machine because everybody on the team has to use the same environment. Otherwise, pink stuff. So this creates a problem. How do you run tests so that are, they are as convenient as unit tests, but you're actually having very precise setup? And this is how we do it. It's gonna be an integration example, but by the, by the end of it, you're gonna know how to set up in your team. You start with Selenium. Selenium gives you a predefined set of environments and, well, you don't have that problem anymore. You make it public to everyone in your team and on your machine you have the application you're gonna test and Gemini. Gemini is a tool that I'm promoting. I didn't write it, but I really, really like it. Uh, it's a test runner. It can control Selenium, so it sends commands to Selenium and Selenium accesses your application, takes the screenshots, sends it back. Gemini produces the pink stuff and well, you're done. In case, well, you may need an SSH tunnel if there is a network issues and everything, but you can figure out how to set this up. Tunneling works. So if you set things up like this, you will have CSS tests. You can automatically check that your changes didn't break anything else. You can run them just like unit tests. They're, well, the same thing. And it's gonna work awesomely. The tool is called Gemini. It's built, it's built by the same guys who brought us BAM notation, block element modificator. It does whatever Selenium does. It follows link, cling, follows links, clings bu clicks buttons, whatever you want, different operating systems, different browsers. And it also can take very precise screenshots so that you say, by query selector, you say, take a screenshot of that button. It's gonna take a screenshot of that exact button. So the point is, use Gemini. <laughs>